name. Pledge that from this day forward, I will strive to love my brother. Anytime you have a crowd of black people getting together to protest, there is an expectation that things will get out of control. And that was the, the message put forth in the media at the time. And in my mind, I was determined that that was not going to be the case, that the mall was going to live up to the the intent, which was for reconciliation and atonement. Even up to the march, there was a whole lot of momentum. At the time, I was the prosecutor for the District of Columbia. We were training for mass arrests. I was in that office for five years as a prosecutor, and not once did we ever have training for mass arrest. We were training for the Media Man March, and I decided I wouldn't participate in the training. I decided I would get a new camera and 10 rolls of film and attend the march. And just started the process of taking photographs. The ancestors remind us, despite the history of pain, we are going on people who will rise again, and still we rise. Yeah. Brothers, and let's give it to Sister Maya Angelou. My intention was to capture and be able to tell the truth about the event. And you can make your own judgment. If you didn't have the technology, if you didn't have the camera, people would not be able to see the truth. So I wanted to capture the men and all of their humanity. I wanted to get their expressions. I wanted to try to convey their feelings, photograph as many as the messages that I possibly could, all of the wide range of banners and what the people were communicating. It was a glorious day. It was, the sky was bright, blue, and sunny. I've never participated in a, in a more glorious, peaceful gathering. <laughs> I would characterize the march as one of the greatest milestones of my life. There were there were black men there from every state. There were young and old, blue collar, white collar, straight, gay, veterans, corporate America, students, everybody that reflected black men in America. And the joy and the happiness and the brotherhood. 